In the Everglades, if you see an alligator over eight feet long, it's probably a male. Most adult females are in the six to seven foot range, but males can grow to 12 feet or longer. However, when you see a small or medium sized gator, there's no way to know what sex it is without catching it. Then you have to open the cloaca on the alligator's belly and do a visual inspection. We don't recommend this unless you're a researcher. In the spring, when Everglades alligators are most stressed from lack of food, their hormones, which are chemical signals released by endocrine glands inside the body, tell the gator that it's time to mate. Males become aggressive with other males and show it with head slapping and fighting. Both male and female alligators bellow as a sign that they're ready to mate. Amazingly enough, alligators have no vocal cords. During courtship, the male presses on the head and back of the female as a show of strength, hoping she will choose him. It is a slow and ponderous affair. Mating takes place in the water. In the summer, seasonal rains flood the Everglades and disperse the wildlife. Now fertile, with her eggs developing inside her, the female alligator builds a nest of plant material. At night, she lays up to 50 eggs. If she has been successful at predation and is large and healthy, she will produce many eggs. The rotting of the plants in the nest help to warm the eggs as the summer sun beats down. Researchers like these have discovered that it is the temperature of the incubating egg that determines the gender of the embryo inside. Eggs in the warmest part of the nest with a temperature of at least 90 degrees Fahrenheit become males. Cooler eggs become females. But this is not a fixed rule throughout the reptile world. Female sea turtles and crocodiles hatch from the warmest eggs. The mother alligator guards her nest for two months. Then on about day 60, in late August or early September, she will hear the croaking of her hatchlings. Now she takes action. The baby alligator, about eight inches long, is well supplied with yolk and will not need to feed for several days. It stays close to its mother and the other hatchlings as it begins to explore its world. The mother will guard her young for two years, but she will never feed them. If a mother alligator discovers one of her eggs is dead, she swallows it. Then one day, when pangs of hunger are just beginning to be felt, an opportunity may arise for the baby alligator. From that day on, life will never be the same. For the first few years, the young alligator will grow about one foot per year. It will take nearly a decade for the alligator to become fully grown and to become the apex predator of the Everglades.